Tunisian victory stands as concrete and definite evidence that the fighting services of three great countries can be combined in effective operations. At every moment during this campaign, the devastating blows that were delivered by the Air Force, supported by the undersea and surface craft of the Navy, were so directed as to further and enhance the blows that were being delivered by the ground armies. As the campaign progressed, the supply of these troops by the enemy became more and more difficult. And this was due to the power of the Air Force and the Navy. The efforts along this line were redoubled as each crisis of the battle approached. The land forces, of course, were vitally concerned with the amount of supply, the amount of reinforcements that were coming into the area each day. Their attacks were so timed, and the attacks of the air forces were so timed, that the maximum effect was produced upon the enemy at all times. General Eisenhower has mentioned the devastating attacks of our aircraft as one of the major factors in the Tunisian victory. Here are planes of the Northwest African Strategic Air Force and this is a brief record of the part played by certain groups in that Air Force. The 321st Bomb Group used native labor to help fill the tanks of its B-25s. The final phase of the campaign, with stepped-up operations, made increasing demands on supplies, personnel, and equipment. Successful operations depend first on good maintenance. The cooperation of every crew in this group starts right here on the ground. These planes have to be ready on time. That means plenty of pressure on the ground crews who repair and keep these ships in fighting trim. It means trained crews who know their jobs. It means extra hours of work, plenty of cooperation, good organization, teamwork. The armorers have already begun to clean and load the guns of the medium bombers. Ammunition is checked and fed into turret and waste guns. Our ordnance crew arrives and begins to bomb up the B-17s. field activity, the air crews, back at headquarters, are getting ready to be briefed on today's mission. The crews of the 321st Bomb Group answer briefing roll call by Captain Heinlein. Among those present were Lieutenants Bruce Stoutz, Hamilton Brinkley, and Charles Failing. Captain Malcolm Haven briefs them on today's target. The target for this afternoon is mature. The place that you so successfully bombed just three days ago. It's an easy target to find. The straight run on from Sukel Chemist, where you pick up your escort of P-40s. It's about 63 miles from this point here. You should have no trouble with heavy flat until you reach the target area of Mature itself. Colonel R.D. Knapp. Now, gentlemen, off bombing this uh, town of Mature that we uh, hit several days ago and hit fairly well, as you see from the uh, photographs of the town before and after dragging. It was very important to keep your tight formation. And any trouble you get into in this area is more apt to be from the enemy pursuit then from the ground flat. In another headquarters, Captain W.P. Saunders. Well, gentlemen, uh, 
This mission today is just a part of a well-organized plan to prevent a successful evacuation by the enemy. Our government is furnishing you about $10 million worth of equipment in order to do a good job. From all available information, we estimate that there are about 50 enemy aircraft, mostly ME-109s, on this airdrome. In addition to 35 transports, largely JU-52s. Now these transports are at the present time furnishing a large part of the enemy's supplies. And in addition, of course, will be used in any evacuation move. Now your job today is to see that these particular transports are not available tomorrow. Colonel Donovan. Colonel Donovan. This is a 101 <coughs> raid for the 97th today, and let's make this second 100 as destructive as we've made the first 100. Now, we've got these bastards on the run here. Let's keep them on the run, and let's mow down all the air power that they have. Take time, tick now. Coming up on 10-16, 15 seconds to go. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one, hack. After briefing, the heavy bomb crews leave directly for the planes. At the same time, crews of the 321st medium bomb group start for their planes in jeeps. These medium bomb crews will attack their target, Mature, while the B-17s head for City Ahmed Air Base. The truck from 97th Group Headquarters arrives and drops the crews off along the line of B-17s. are already veterans in this campaign. At this time, the Northwest African Strategic Air Force was moving toward the big final push. <laughs> 